All right, so this video is about uh, X570 Pro. It's by Asus, and this is I just checked the keep uh, the motherboard. It does support uh, 128 GB for the RAM, like total module. I believe it has four slots, so you can see all the good things here. It does support AM4, that's the processor we got. It has some other goodies that we're gonna look in. And, yep, using this uh, pink to shield some of the information that I don't want to be out just now before the bill, or maybe afterwards as well. So you can see, right up your bill. So it has the Aurora Sync. Basically, those all those lighting inside the case that's made possible by this, and it's by Asus. You can, I believe, there's a software that you can control with. It comes within the package. So here are the good parts. Again, full disclaimer: it is not an unboxing video yet. It's just a product video. And if I can show you, and so the back panel I/O, one display port. HDMI just one. Oh, that's bad. I don't like that. All right, so LAN is okay. Two by two Wi-Fi module. So two by two basically means that it's gonna connect with two, two antennas. Uh, USB 3.2, no USB 4, that's bad. 3.2 Gen 1 ports. Audio jack, optical, and bias flashback button. Hmm. You can see maybe here all those things so all in all i'm not impressed with this keyboard so maybe we end up uh, returning it as well and buying the one that i really wanted so lan is 2.5 gb wow it they been upgraded from 1 gb it's uh that's impressive right there wi-fi is a ax okay that's good that's another good thing right there AX uh, is the Wi-Fi 6 standard and it's pretty super powerful 2x2 two two Wi-Fi 6 antenna you can see AX there as well and OFDMA okay Bluetooth is 5.1 so I was uh, thinking Bluetooth might be 4 but Bluetooth is uh, 5.1 maybe USB 4 is coming around I'm not sure maybe in the next uh, iteration for the wireless it is we just went through the audio I'm not much fan of uh, playing audio from the computer so not gonna worry about it this is this is right here for the aura sync like how the, those lighting works you can see over here and there as well unfortunately not an unboxing video can't see it right now gen 4 sport so PCIe 4 right there that's uh, impressive that's good so you can see how much data compared to three it's twice this bus speed is turbo LAN 2.5 we already know that so let's go with the CPUs it's gonna use the AM4 socket we are going with the Ryzen AM4 Ryzen 3rd, 2nd, and 1st, oh, okay, so it's compatible with all the way back, backwards compatibility. Chipset is X570, and the memory right there, it says 128 GB. It's a dual channel, so basically you have to put two sticks side by side, so you can see they're color coded to our light gray, to our kind of blackish gray. Or black you want to call them so that's when that's what dual channel is so for VGA there is um, integrated graphics within the CPU itself so if you don't have that CPU that's in it you will not have any display for that you need a graphic card and multi VGA is output the bad thing is it has only one HDMI port and one display port I am uh, I don't like that I, I, I actually kind of hating it so uh, m.2 one socket so these are the keys that you need to look for like which one you are getting 
so you can see 2280 i believe that's the one we got um uh, i'll look at look into it later on all right so expansion slot one pci4 3.0 and 16 one and pca4 one all right so i guess this is it for this motherboard for now i will look online a little bit and then we'll decide the fate of this board but if we go to uh, make the build with this one i will actually talk to the guy and see what he says all right so let's wrap this video up here i'm very sorry it wasn't an up unboxing video but still if uh, this video has helped you i hope it did that uh, Please rate, comment, subscribe and share and I see you in the next one.